It was a week that began with President Biden and former President Trump officially clinching enough delegates to secure their party's nominations, setting up a November rematch that many Americans say they don't want. We'll hear from some of those dissatisfied voters. But we begin this morning with the latest inflammatory comments by former President Trump on the campaign trail. The contrast between the two candidates on clear display. And the general election is just getting started. Straight from his private jet to the podium, a freewheeling speech by former President Donald Trump last night in Ohio. It began as many Trump rallies do these days with a song by the so-called January 6th Ladies prison choir. Please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. Made up of those serving time for storming the Capitol. Trump framing them as hostages, patriots. You see the spirit from the hostages, and that's what they are, as hostages. The first day we get into office, we're going to save our country, and we're going to work with the people to treat those unbelievable patriots. But that was just the beginning. Trump stoking more fear about migrants at the southern border. Trump at one point saying they're not people. Well, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. But I'm not allowed to say that because the radical left says that's a terrible thing to say. These are bad these are animals. And while blasting the auto industry's foreign manufacturing and embrace of electric vehicles, the former president making this comment. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. A top Trump advisor taking to X to clean that up, saying he was referring only to the auto industry, writing that President Joe Biden's insane EV mandate will slaughter the American auto industry. The Biden campaign seizing on Trump's statement to accuse the president's Republican rival of threatening political violence and wanting another January 6th. And at an off-camera gala for the press last night, President Biden warning of what he called the toxic cycle of anger and conspiracy. Trump also directly attacked Biden throughout the speech, even saying this. How about a couple of more indictments, Joe, you dumb son of a... Uh, dumb son of a... Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.